Gennaro, I need your help with my business. What's the problem? How can I help him? All my young workers, they are not productive, they do not work well. I don't know what to do. Do you not study something like that? Yes, I do. I study business and it's actually a typical problem. But I think I could help you. I could create a qualitative research for you and we should interview your employees and we could create it about autonomy in the workplace. That would be very amazing. I think that would be helpful. Okay, so let me make it and I'll let you know soon about it. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Perfect. Three weeks later. Hello, Hello. how are you doing? Very good, how are you? I'm pretty good. How is the research going? Very good, very good. We are halfway into it, uh, but we have conducted some very interesting uh, interviews with me and my colleague Giordano. Nice to meet you, Giordano. So, uh, let me show you what we have. So, uh, so far we've done two semi-structured interviews. So these kind of interviews are rather formal. So we follow a question guide, except that uh, we can also ask additional questions or the interviewee can explain more about these questions, so they're more open, uh, open yeah. So what did you ask exactly in these questions? That's a perfect thing. Uh, our research question was basically uh, whether our employees, young employees, more productive with a given autonomy. So that also relates to if autonomy is a source of the motivation in the workplace. Mm -hmm. So to start these interviews, of course, we asked uh, the uh, interviewees to introduce themselves, uh, how they got the job, all of this, uh, all the information basically that we need in the beginning. And then um, we uh, went on um, with uh, questions more related to research. So if you want, we have examples of uh, questions that we uh, uh, asked during our interviews that are recorded here. So we could just show you the videos of these. Let's watch them. So, how would you describe the autonomy that you have? I think I have a lot of freedom, so my autonomy is very high, I would say, because I can set my own working hours and I can basically choose my own tasks as well. Also, when I'm working, there's no supervisor watching me. Uh, then I feel more at ease, which makes it easier for me to perform very well because it's a socially demanding job, so I want to be relaxed. Okay, very interesting. So can you think of any work-related situations where you think it'd be better um, for the supervisors to have more control? Mm, yes, I can. Sometimes there are issues that are beyond my control and I cannot really resolve them. And since, as I said, there's no supervisor watching me, there's also nobody to help me. Mm. And I cannot say, hey, this is a problem, can you please help me? And this is very stressful then. But this is probably the drawback of the autonomy I have, right? Mm, that makes sense. Yes. Okay, John, think about your friends and employees working here. Do you think that they are controlled too much? Yes, I can think of one friend. She likes to do everything on her own and she doesn't like any rules. But from my perspective, it's better when it's a little bit of both. So obviously some autonomy and freedom, mm -hmm. but also I think that some rules are needed. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, boss, so right after these interviews, we showed you we had to transcribe them. That means that we had to write down every single word of it, and then create these codes. Mm -hmm. uh, As you can see here, there are two types of codes, open codes and actual codes. Open codes is basically taking big chunks of the transcripts, the information that we think is useful, and then basically labeling them. For instance, uh, from the interview, we have... Uh, pressure that the employees felt or uh, stress the amount of stress they have with responsibilities so then with actual coding you take all these labels and you basically link them together so for instance freedom in the workplace we took several uh, chunks of information and put it in there chunks of information in which you could see that the individual interviewee had a positive perception of. So as you can see, we combine these chunks with similar meaning. In this case, it means that the interviewee had a similar and positive perception about autonomy, and we put those into this actual code. 
freedom in the workplace. And on the right, as you can see, we have these memos. Memos are sort of um, notes by us as researchers, uh, what we have found during coding. So we wrote down most of the open codes are related to the freedom in the workplace because we saw that we have the most stars. Our employees enjoy a lot of autonomy, but not when the task exceeds the scope of their qualification or duty. That's what we actually found and had to code a lot of time. Okay, boss, so what do you think about our research? I think the research was really great, but I have some pointers, I think, to improve. Mm -hmm. Please tell us. I feel like some of the questions were, in a way, creating bias by suggesting the answer. I also feel like many of my workers are not native English speakers, so they may not understand everything perfectly. Yeah, maybe not express themselves fully. Yeah, exactly. And also, some of the questions were kind of similar as well. Mm, yeah, we could definitely change that. Yeah, we still have two interviews to go, so we could adjust questions. And... Most definitely. Mm -hmm. We've also seen that the research question isn't only about autonomy. It's also about responsibility. Responsibility is a factor that's come up a lot during our interviews. So I think it'll be very important to implement this factor in our future interviews. I agree, that seems smart. Exactly. We, we could do another further researches for you and we could include these. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect, boys. Okay, so it's been a pleasure working with you guys. I have to go back to work to the pizzeria, but I hope you contact me with the future results. I'll definitely do, thank you. Okay, Please thank you very this. much.